Today I'd like to acknowledge the Wabaku people as the traditional custodians of the land on which our school is built. Our students and family are happy that we, that the Wabaku people of the past have looked after the area so well. We remain committed to looking after our school, which looked after the environment, the children and the education of future generations. We pay our respects to the elders past and present, for you were here before us and you will always be remembered as the traditional custodians of the land for all Wabaku people. We would like to say that we respect you, your culture and your way of life. We pay respects in particular to the great elder Biruban who led the Wabaku people many years ago. I am proud that our school has his name and the name of the totem, the Biruban Sea Eagle. Hi, I'm Peter, one of the technology leaders, and I'm going to be presenting the Week 8 newsletter report, and I'd also like, like to introduce Alex and Aurora doing the principal's report. Hi, I'm Aurora. And I'm Alex, and we're your school captains for 2024, and we will present the principal's report for Week 8. If you're trying to reach your child's class teacher, our preferred method of communication is via school bites. At times we understand that you may wish to reach another teacher. The best method of communication for this is by calling the school office and leaving a message for them to call you back. Alternatively, you can send an email. School teaching staff will respond to messages on school bites and emails after 8.30am and before 4.30pm. We understand it may be your only chance to message outside of these times. That's fine. That is fine. Just understand you will not get a response Im immediately. Please understand that outside of these work hours is their private family time and they deserve the chance to switch off from work. Please also understand that if a teacher of is off school sick or has duties, they may not see the message the next morning. For anything urgent, your best option is to always call the front office and your message will be given to the most appropriate person on that day. Our breakfast club is continuing to increase in numbers each morning with lots of children stopping by to fill their bodies for the day. Just a reminder that parents are welcome to stop by too, particularly if your little one is having a hard morning and you're struggling to get them into the gate. Why not come for, together to Breakfast Club? A reminder for Year 6 parents that Toronto High School LEAP applications are due on the 27th of March. Application forms have been sent home with students. We would like to invite the parents and carers of our wonderful students to a coffee afternoon with Mrs Watsford and Miss Monique. We, will, we have some resources that we would love to share with you. We hope to have a few more afternoon catch-ups in Term 2 as well. Come along on Tuesday the 26th of March at 2.15pm. We look forward to seeing you. The Easter Bunny is nearly here. Please join us on Monday the 25th of March to decorate Easter parade hats in classrooms from 2 to 3pm. Then again on Thursday the 28th of March at 9.15 at the Back Flat Cola for our Easter hat parade. This week at Birribin PS we have been celebrating Harmony Week. Harmony Week is a celebration that recognises our diversity and brings together Australians from all different backgrounds. It's about inclusiveness, respect and a sense of belonging for everyone. Thank you Alex and Aurora for, for the Principal's Report. We will now cross over to, to the OC doing a Resilience Project activity where we tie ourselves into, where we organise ourselves into groups and then tie knots with our hands and then we have to work together to untangle ourselves. So by doing this, we, 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 uh, we sh were supposed to be able to work out our top five character traits, then we were going to write them down in the journal. Some of, them, some of the character traits may have been obvious, while others harder to see. Miss Preston will now present the, the week six assembly awards and congratulations to everyone everyone who did get an award and to everyone who did it I hope you get one next time. Congratulations to the following students who received an award at the assembly in week six Cody, Jeremy, Torrin, Odin, Nate, Jerry, Ezekiel, Troy, Ethan, Jada, Mahatu, 
Phoebe, Caden, Holly, Tyron, Anaya, Keely, Brooklyn, Anita, Jayla, Audrey, Jade, Carl, Indy and Bentley. Congratulations to all these students. Thank you, Ms. Patterson. We will now talk to Ms. Anderson with the PBL News. Okay, this week in PBL, we are focusing on toilet expectations and how to use the toilet respectfully and responsibly at school. And last week was about following instructions the first time we're asked and why it is so important. Because instructions that are given uh, can help keep us safe and they help us learn. Exciting news, this week's assembly is our first assembly. We are giving out our brand new Biroban PBL badges. Students will receive their blue award if they have shown outstanding behavior and consistently uh, upheld our values of respect, responsibility and personal best. I'm happy to say 50 students will be receiving their blue badges uh, at this assembly and all of those, if they continue their amazing work, will be invited to the principal's pool party in week 11. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mrs. Bell here with the attendance report. Um, it is very important that all students are at school, in class, ready to learn always because arriving late has huge consequences for um, the students and they miss valuable literacy time which also affects their routine. Please remember that if students are arriving late to school, they must be walked in um, to school by an adult and providing an explanation. If not, please phone the school to provide an explanation. Otherwise you will receive a phone call from our beautiful office ladies to get an explanation. Um, text messages are sent out and you can reply to those. Um, so please do that. Um, it is really important that we work together and get all students at school on time. If you do need any help with your students attendance, please reach out. We would love to work together with you. Um, we have increased our school attendance rate from 92.6 to 94.6, which is massive. So much better than last year. So well done, Biraban. And the last couple of weeks, it has been year five with the highest attendance. Um, last week, it was 98.4%. So well done, year five. Thank you, Mrs. Bellwood. We will now talk we will now hear from Sione, the one of the two Rokita captains, giving the, the fortnightly sports report. Hi, my name is Sione and I am the Rokita sports captain. I am here to present the WK sports award report. Cross country will be held 12th of April from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Students who are five to seven years old run one kilometre and students to eight to ten years old run two kilometres and students 11 years plus run three kilometres. Good luck to the under 12s girls rugby league team who are playing at Curry Curry and the cricket team who will compete against Rathmines on Thursdays. Welcome Mr. Cornell, who will update us with home reading news. Congratulations to all of our home readers who received their milkshake reward again last week. Really looking forward to seeing lots of new students at our next milkshake reward in week nine. So keep on reading at home and bring those diaries in. PNC News, the Easter Rose show Lynn raffle was Odin. drawn um, in front of all the students and congratulations to Odin and Raceland and Xander and Xander. a community member, Kim, uh, for winning those tickets. Remember, there are still tickets available for the Easter basket raffle, which will be drawn at the, the Easter tickets, hat parade. All tickets that were in there had been sold. Well done. Thank you. Thanks.
We will now hear from Sebastian and Ethan, Ethan who have been teaching the school at Auslan, and will show us the two signs of the week. Hello everyone, my name is Ethan and my name is Sebastian. We're done a teacher's sign of the week. First one is good. Second one is thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Peter and here we have Carl Wong the new OCs. What's your favourite subject so far? I reckon it's math. Why? It's very interesting and without math nothing would be real. Explain please because trees don't need math to exist. Balls don't need math to exist. Explain please. It's a bit more complicated than that. If there was no math there would also be no other subjects. Math is very important. All right. So who's your favorite teacher so far? far. Miss Ryan or Mr. Sherman? Mr. Sherman. I'll show that to Miss Ryan then. What's the hardest subject so far? Not sure. Yeah. Really? Quite hard. All right. How well, do you feel about the other kids in OC? They're quite welcoming. All right, thank you for the How interview. do you feel about being in the same class as your brother? Um, I feel like my seat's too close to him and I pretty want, like I really want to move seats further away. So where is far enough away, actually? Well, our seats are like right next to each other, so um, I think like him on one side of the um, classroom and I'm on the other. All right, most siblings would say the other side of the world. I guess you're a rare kind. Done.